today we're gonna be raiding graveyard slimes to see which one is the best and which one is the worst. So what is a graveyard slime? You've probably seen these in the background of our videos. These are what we use for filming. So these are experiments. These are not really the best slimes. So there's a ton of like mysteries in here from everybody at the warehouse that films. So these slimes are not for sale because we use them for filming purposes only. But what about the slimes that we do sell? These are all the slimes that we sell at peachybabies.com. So these are all the nice ones with theming and they're gonna be charms and look all pretty and nice. So if you guys wanna buy slimes, make sure to go to peachybabies.com and let's get on with the video. The rating system we're gonna be using using is just one through five stars, five being amazing, one being crap. If a slime gets one star, then we have our wheel of improvement. We have some options on here that hopefully we'll use to make the slime suck less. Our first slime, you're gonna probably recognize this one because we just did it for two videos ago. This is a really cool jelly slime that has five individually colored parts of it. Yeah, this one feels amazing. Like, come on, I mean, it looks so pretty. Even though it's kind of blending in together, we've used this for other videos. It still has a really cool pull. It like straight up looks like a slushie. That just looks so satisfying to look at. I'm naming this slime Rainbow Road for obvious reasons, and this slime gives it five stars for me. Our next one is this sparkly pink one. I know it's activated really well because this thing was literally sitting in activator for months. This was a result from some videos from a few months ago where I put so much activator in it that it literally like almost looked like a water slime. So I finally fixed it. Yeah, it just looks so weird. Like why does this look like meat at the same time? but then the sparkly parts of it are really cool. Look at that. Like it all the glitter sit on the bottom there. Like that is so cool. I think there's a reason why this one should stay in the graveyard, but I think this slime has a few good months left until it needs to be activated again. So I'm gonna name this one a sparkly meat and I'm giving this like a three stars. I just can't get over the color. It's grotesque. This one, I have no idea where it came from or who made it, but this one is very peachy. Oh, it's actually activated not so bad. Oh, you know what? I think this is the pink drink one. It's actually not bad. This is like a pretty cool slime. I just wish it was like that pink color and not the peach color. If you don't mix it around, it literally looks like a peach. I'm gonna have to name this one Peachy Milkshake because of the color, like let's be real. And I'm gonna give this one four stars because it does have a theme. I do like that it's got two different colors to it and it's activated pretty well. Solid slime. This one I'm concerned about because it moves like liquid. Slime shouldn't move that quickly. I don't know how old this slime is, but I know this is from a wax pour video when we would pour wax on the slimes. The wax is still waxy, but the glue is, uh, yeah, it's basically just glue now. It is not slime, but it looks really cool. We're gonna try to activate this slime. I'm hesitant to give it any other rating besides a one star. Therefore, we are gonna spin the wheel and see what we can add to try to improve this slime. Give it the good old spin. All right, some gel dye. We have all of these gel dyes to choose from, so we already have it red. I'm honestly thinking something like blue, make it like a purple. Let's go with neon blue. Obviously, to make this slime not a one, we're gonna add a ton of activator. So let's throw that baby on there. And then let's add our gel dye. I feel like this is a bad idea to do it without mixing the activator, but we're just gonna roll with the punches, you know? It's looking very anti-Arctica. Let's turn it into Antarctica. You know what I'm saying with all the icebergs? Whoa, look okay, at there we go. Done. This is essentially just turning glue directly into slime. It feels so wrong. I tried my best to hand mix this slime, but it was just so much like glue that it was just really hard to actually get it. So I think we're just gonna leave this one. Maybe the activator will turn this more into a slime. I tried to make it look like Antarctica with the icebergs, but it didn't really work out. So it's still gonna be one star. This one, I have no idea where it came from. Dan is telling me that this was Aaron's old slime. It's supposedly a bubblegum forest. That makes sense why there's beads and why there is uh, random trees in here. This is kind of interesting because loam, just flown. There's really no like glue. So you kind of kind of mix it together, but it makes really cool, satisfying ASMR. Like I'm literally just squeezing beads, which is kind of fun. It smells amazing. I don't know what scent she decided for this one, but it smells so good. Let's mix some of this together. This is like a peach color for sure. Oh, these are cool. Like look at these little like pink beads. 
Like that's kind of fun. Here, I'll just grab a small piece with some of the glue because mixing this the entire bin is just not gonna happen. So I'll just grab some of this. All right, now let's just mix this together. Get that phloem slime going. This probably happens the same thing if you buy our phloem slimes that the beads rise to the top and you kind of got to mix it. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I actually really like this. I think this could be like a really cool slime that we could even sell in our shop. It was prototyped properly, but I'll give this a five stars. This is really good. If it was just activated a little bit more, I would totally keep some of this for myself. I'm skeptical of this one working well because it's another clear slime. Usually clear slimes, you have to over activate them a ton so that they're not sticky. Oh, this one's like not bad. Why is this one actually so good? It's not sticky at all. It's actually like super, it's like perfectly activated. Like, look at that. There's no stickiness to it. It's got like a really cool blue like glitter in it. Like that's awesome. I don't think is though that I don't understand why is there these like honeycomb charm? Initially I see water, honeycomb and water. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, this slime is awesome. Clear slime is at its peak when it's like, you can hold it like this and it's like not sticky. It's like perfect. You can do like the stretches. This one is beautiful. So I'm going to give this one a four stars because it doesn't really have any theming to it. So I'm just going to name it water. I'm super excited about this one because it has my favorite thing, Orbeez. I'm hoping there's some slime in here. Look at that. Oh, it just feels so satisfying. Who doesn't like it? But I'm trying to feel around on the bottom here and I don't think there's any slime in here, but it just feels amazing. Technically, should I give this a rating? No, but I will. And therefore I'm gonna name this one Orbeez for an original name. Yeah, this is gonna get a two stars. On to the next one. Now this slime actually looks like it's pretty cool. Hopefully it's not sticky because again, this, the glue sits on the bottom because it's been sitting for so long. Oh yeah, this one's not sticky. It just kind of needs some love. Whoa, look at that. It's like a slime sheet. Here, let's take this one out of the bin there. So the outside looks fine, but the inside, well, if, this needs to be mixed better, but we just found like a crazy rock. Like when you dig up a rock, like when you're in like Arizona and those gift shops. I don't know, this slime's pretty cool. It's like active well. I'm going to call this one Rock Geode and I'm going to call it a five star. It deserves it. This one's going to be kind of weird. I have no idea where it's from. So this one has some phloem, which is kind of weird. It's got some like pink lavender sprinkles and then it's got this like brown color. Like what is that? It's got like a glitter. I am so confused. And then there's just like phloem in here. <laughs> I am perplexed. Well, this one obviously is gonna be a one star. It's just too chaotic. So let's bring out our wheel of improvement and let's give it a good spin on the wheel. I don't think anything can fix this slime. Clay, well, let's go get some clay. Listen, I'm not gonna mix the whole entire thing. We got a little bit. I'm genuinely confused. Like I don't know who made that slime. So now we have our clay. I'll try one at first. And then we'll go from there. Maybe it'll just make it lighter. Again, we're just adding more textures to it. Ooh, now it straight up looks like sewage. Oh, maybe it's actually kind of helping that it's mixed together. I mean, it still isn't the most pretty looking, but now it's slowly becoming like a dark pasta dough. It's a little bit overactivated. As you can see, I'm holding this up. Normal slime, this would have dripped down by now. I do think this helped that we mixed it together with some clay, surprisingly. So I'm still gonna leave this a one. I just don't care for the texture. And then the color is, uh, it just looks kind of like dough or like a really bad iced coffee. So yeah, this one still is gonna be one star. Our next one here, we got a nice, uh, I, I'm sick of the flown beads. Listen, everybody just keeps putting the flown beads in. Put enough in or don't put any in at all, okay? I'm sick of it. We got some little wax in here that looks kind of cool. What's this dark color? I wonder somebody must have, what the heck? This is so dark. It almost looks like a swamp. Again, with the phloem, like what is it snowing in the swamp? No, but the slime itself isn't bad. Okay, that's a good bubble. What the heck is this? Ducks, how rude. Somebody made this thing dark. And then there was ducks on there. It's probably such a cute slime. Oh, that makes so much sense now with the phloem beads. Cause maybe they were like, it was like a blue slime. And then somebody was like, let me just make it dark. Listen, whoever made that, how rude. That being said, I actually don't mind this slime. I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. Now I know this one. This is our snake eyes glitter. This is 10 pounds of glitter into a clear slime. Oh my, this is, wait, what the heck? That is the weirdest thing. This literally feels like a solid. Like slime shouldn't be doing that. That's what slime should look like. Not like that. Kind of goofy. Granted, snake eyes glitter. 
beautiful. The way it shimmers, like it really does look super cool. But yeah, 10 pounds of glitter is super cool. Yeah, we broke a world record, but slime wise, this one's a two star. This one might be the most deplorable slime we've ever made at Peachy Babies. It is uh, disgusting. Yeah, this is obviously a one star. So maybe we can see if the wheel of improvement can help fix this slime. Yeah, let's do it. Glitter! Hoo, 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 hoo. We have our glitter now. We have a little bowl full of our sample specimen here. The wheel of improvement does not lie, so maybe we just need some glitter and then the thing will be get fixed. We're just gonna douse this thing. At least it looks prettier. It looks like it just got snowed on. Like, look at that. It's like a winter wonderland. Now we'll just mix it up. Use our hands, get dirty with it. You know, all about a hands-on experience here trying to improve this slime. It kind of just looks more pretty to look at. I don't think this did anything. If anything, it just looks like it just got snowed on the slime. So I guess the wheel of improvement did lie today. So I'm a little bit sad about that. But anyways, that was a one. It turns out glitter can't polish shit. So make sure you like the video and we'll see you in the next one.